What up boys and welcome back to another video. So as the title and the thumbnail claims, we're back to doing a hundred runs of the most popular transmog dungeons. It's been requested by quite a few of you guys because the market has changed now with the new auction house and everything. And of course, even if you do a dungeon a hundred times, it's not going to be steady. It's going to be a lot of RNG involved like we've seen before where I do 100 runs of old demand, I get 200k of value, I do 100 more and I get like 600k of value. So we decided to do them all again and a lot of things have changed. So after doing 100 runs of LBRS, I have a video that I did the in November 2018 that I'm going to link in the description if you guys want to watch like the whole run and everything. This is just like uh, me now in the last month. I've done another 100 runs and I'm working on a bunch of different dungeons too and open world farms. But this is the loot that I'm left with after doing LBRS for 100 times. So we've got ourselves a couple of these uh, recipes. So they have a market value of 25, 20, 28, 24. But as you can see uh, on the minimum buyout, like a My Realm, a high pop, they're really hard to sell for the market value. Then I got some random greens that I decided to keep. No clue why I'm keeping that one. These hats always sell even though they have a low value. And same with this hat. Look at the sell rate, 0 0.04. I got three of this one, the Assassination Blade. Like the market value is not that good. The price of my realm is not that good, but I sold a couple of them and they have a really good sell rate. I got the, uh, the Alabaster. All sorts of Alabaster equipment always sells. So I have kept the, uh, the chest definitely. Demon Slayer, they're not too bad, 7.5k on my realm. And the Swashbucklers always sells. Once again, really good sell rate. And then you have the Elegant Robe, once again. The value is not that high, but they always sell. And then we have the uh, Ebonhold Leggings. Right now, they have a horrible price, but I've sold these for way more in the past. And then the Imperial Red Tunic also tends to sell. Now... When it comes to the epics, <laughs> it wasn't that good. I got double Helm of Narv and one Elemental Mage Staff. And that's the only epics I got. Like, in comparison, when I was going to do 100 runs of BRD last week, I got seven, I think it was seven epics in 10 runs. So getting three epics in 100 runs is really, really bad. And then I got the Warbear Harness, 15k. The Arcanite Reaper, I got two of these. They tend to sell, but the value isn't really that good these days. And of course, my probably best item uh, that sells really easily is an Orb of Deception. So the total value, I do have a T7 macro, but it doesn't, I have no clue how to fix it. This one kind of gives me a value, but it's not even close to being correct. According to the macro, it's uh, I have 1,191,000 gold in market value, so I I have no clue why. So I had to manually add it up and it's 310,000 gold in EU average market value. So the last time I did it, because I want to compare it, I want to see how much I got last time. And the last time my bags looked like this. So I got myself the uh, Skull Flame Shield, which is absolutely insane. It's like 100,000 gold easily. And then I got myself like bottom right, you can see a Destiny, it's a two-handed sword. That's like 45, 50K easily if not even more and i also got another orb of deception last time too so uh, last time we got more we got four hundred and ten thousand gold in market value so it's worse now and uh, definitely if i got the same items now though i would have made more gold like the skull flame and the destiny alone is almost two hundred thousand gold in market value so i'm not sure if prices have gone up well i know they have kind of because after the uh, the new auction house, my total auction house value on this realm was uh, 17 million. After the update, it got up to 25 million. So prices have definitely gone a bit up now. I'm not sure if it's like that on everyone's realm, but on my realm, the reset was definitely a good thing. And that was pretty much it for LBRS. Like, as I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the previous... Uh, the previous run so you guys can see how i farm lbrs and that's it for now so if you guys have any suggestions on what dungeon i should do next leave it down in the comment section and we're going to see what we can do until next one bye bye